Hi, I'm Bridget from Crosby's Molasses and welcome to my kitchen where I make easy everyday food. Today we're going to make a fudgy molasses chocolate sauce. It only takes three ingredients and is ready in about five minutes. So we're going to start with one cup of whipping cream. So that's heavy cream. It's best if you warm things in a heavy bottomed pot if you've got it. We're going to melt the chocolate in the whipping cream so it's a gentle way to melt it without scorching it. I've got eight ounces of good dark chocolate. This is 72% chocolate because I like that nice rich flavor and it complements the flavor of molasses really well. In fact, chocolate and molasses are a beautiful pairing because molasses seems to bring out the chocolatiness of chocolate. But if you prefer a milder taste, then you can simply use a milk chocolate or a chocolate that doesn't have as much of uh, cocoa content. So it really depends on your preference. But we're just going to bring the cream to a gentle simmer with the chocolate in it. And as you can see, this is a lot of chocolate, so it's gonna make a nice, um, rich sauce. I'm just gonna stir this bit by bit because I do want it all to end up coming together well and I don't want the cream to scorch. So I have warmed this just over a medium heat. I've just turned the heat down a little bit now because the chocolate has just about disappeared into the cream, which means it's time to add the molasses. So it's a half a cup of molasses that I'm going to add and I'll stir that in, mix it up really well, and then we'll be good to go. Now the nice thing about this sauce is that you can use it warm just by uh, pouring it over cake or ice cream or brownies and ice cream. But if you want more of a fudgy sauce that you can use to sandwich cookies with, for example, then you can let it set in the fridge. Chocolate sauce is ready. See how it's a lovely runny chocolate sauce right now, but it still has a nice thickness to it. But I'm gonna put it in the fridge. We'll let it firm up and then you'll be able to see what it looks like once it's been chilled. Let's check our chocolate sauce. Ah, so it is starting to thicken up. It's been in the fridge for probably better part of an hour. So in the center, you can see it's still creamy, which is lovely. But around the edges, that's where it's starting to get fudgy. And this is the consistency that makes it great to sandwich cookies, or if you wanted to spread it in between layers of a cake, maybe with a little bit of raspberry jam. And that's why it's such a versatile sauce, because you can eat it warm, drizzled over ice cream or cake or brownies and ice cream, but then you can also use it chilled as a spread. Mmm, it's delicious. If you'd like the recipe, visit crosbys.com. It's called Five Minute Chocolate Sauce, and it really did just take us five minutes to make. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.